Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the next GTA Online update, but I want to point out straight away, this video is going to be very speculative, and if you guys don't like speculation and unofficial information which hasn't been confirmed or announced directly by Rockstar, then please click away from this video. This video is not for you. Otherwise, let's go ahead and jump straight into things. So, it's been a while now since the last update, the San Andreas Supersport series update, was released in GTA Online. It was actually released back in March on March 20th, and as of today, on Thursday, June 21st, it's been exactly 93 days since the release of that update which may not seem that long, three months, but in case you guys didn't know, Rockstar typically aims to release a new update every 80 to 90 days, with the average being every 84 days. Now it's worth noting that the more recent updates have been released a little more spaced out, and maybe that's because Rockstar are slowing down the release of content and major updates in GTA Online, especially as we near the end of the game's life cycle, and of course near the release of Rockstar's next major title as well, Red Dead Redemption 2, which of course is scheduled to release later this year in October. But putting all that aside, it initially appeared that Rockstar had planned on releasing all the content from the current update before the end of May, with plans then to release another update in June, at some point between the middle and the end of the month. Now I've already talked about this numerous times in videos on my channel over the past few months, but in recent weeks Rockstar have changed their plans, as I'm sure you guys have seen, and delayed and pushed back the release of content. For example, the seven Transform races, they were released a week late, when Rockstar first released this update back in March, they announced themselves on the Newswire the seven Transform races would be released on May 29th. But Rockstar delayed that release and didn't release them until June 5th. And then of course there's the Dinka Jester Classic, a vehicle which still hasn't been released yet from this update in GTA Online, but initially it had been planned to release alongside two others which have already been released, the Runechabrook and the Michelle GT, which were released over a month ago now in GTA Online. But the idea behind this presumably is to try and fill the gap the best they can with the remaining content from the current update until they're ready to release the next update which, by the looks of things, could still be a distance out. Taking a look at the QA beta branch over on Steam, this is the final testing branch that Rockstar uses when they're testing an update, and usually begins updating and changing around three to four weeks or so before an update is scheduled to release. Well, as you guys can see in this screenshot, the last time it was updated was three months ago, when the last update was released back in March. So this means the update Rockstar is currently working on, and is supposedly releasing soon in GTA Online, still isn't ready yet to enter that final stage of testing, which means it's well over three to four weeks away from being released in-game. And that's why it's looking like a real possibility that this next update may not be released in June or July at all, and may not be released until at some point in August. And there was some information shared on Twitter early this month by Yan2295, one of the credible leakers in the GTA community, that makes this possibility sound plausible. Of course, back in May, he shared this, some information that came from an inside source over at Rockstar Games. The next GTA Online update is themed around nightclubs. It's going to be possible to buy and run nightclubs around Los Santos. It's currently scheduled to come out in June. But then on June 1st, he shared this. So I heard back about the nightclubs update for GTA Online. Unfortunately, it's been pushed back to a later month, but the good news is it's a fairly big update. Heard something about how they took the content of two updates to put it into this single one. Now I realize this is just a leak and it doesn't shed any light on exactly why Rockstar changed their plans and pushed back the release of the next update to a later month, but it's worth noting we're talking about Rockstar here, they're very well known for delaying things, pushing it back and changing their plans, so for whatever reason, I'm sure it's a good one. And if it means the update's going to be even bigger by combining two into one massive update, that sounds really good as well. So on that basis that this information is correct, it sounds like Rockstar are now trying to rework two updates into one to try and combine the themes and basically create one overall theme out of the two. But as a result, this means the update has been delayed and pushed back to a much 
later date. Like I said, by the looks of things, as of right now, just simply based upon the fact the update still hasn't entered the QA beta stage of testing, it means we may not see a release until at some point in August. Hopefully sooner rather than later, but I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. But with that being said then, that's pretty much it then for this video. Very quickly though, in case you guys didn't know already, I am still hosting a $100 gift card giveaway. If you guys want to enter and get some more information on this, of course, click the link in the video description below. But if you guys could also drop a like on this video, it would of course be greatly appreciated and it helps me out a lot. I want to get your thoughts and feelings on all this information, so go ahead and leave a comment right now. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.